We went to the glass house. Gosh, it's quite chilly, isn't it? It's not warm, is it? Here we are, Liz. Oh, well, it's a bit more sheltered in here. When you're cooking for large numbers, it's all about planning. Make sure you know exactly how many people are coming and then choose recipes that aren't too complicated. Choose something like bowl food uh, and therefore everybody has one bowl, one fork, uh, like a curry, and then you have another small table and people can go and get their rater, rice and chutneys and what have you. For a dinner party, I think really it's important to prepare ahead because you're often doing three courses. So you've got more to do. Start to keep it cold if your main course is hot and keep the pudding cold as well. Even make it in little glasses or little pots so you know you've got the right amount and keep it in the fridge. I usually do an indulgent pudding that's uh, very, very rich and, and uh, everybody's going to enjoy. And then a really lovely fresh fruit salad. No sugar in it, just beautifully prepared ripe fruits. Entertaining on a budget, we do simple things, a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie. I mean, something as simple as that, everybody loves it, it's not expensive, um, so easy to make. I think people are very grateful to be asked out, and it needn't be a complicated, it needn't be, be fancy. expensive. <laughs>